What's going on, guys? So another week down in the books of my weekly rotation, and these did not disappoint. A lot of surprisingly awesome fragrances, uh, stuff that I just started spending time with, some that I've spent plenty of time with, a little bit of everything here, but some more dense stuff, a little bit fresher stuff, because I've had some slightly warmer days, so good variety this week is what we'll say. And it's week number 164, so stay tuned. <laughs> Starting off on Sunday is one, the main one that surprised me the most. I bought this on a whim, saw it was a sweet iris fragrance, and it ended up being even better than I could have imagined. We're talking about Yup Homme Le Parfum. You see that Le Parfum on the bottom. This stuff is magnificent. Starts off a very earthy type of iris floral violet smell. Praline gourmand is sweet, and as it dries, it becomes a softer powdery musk much more typical designer iris type of smell with this creamy vanilla smell. And like I said, musky. Beast, too. Oh, God, it's so, it's so good. Now, I've seen some comparisons, and I've had people even ask me in the full review that I did, if I find it similar to Strong With You. Barely, if, if really at all. Uh, I don't see the correlation that much. Strong With You is a warm and spicy chestnut fragrance this is a sweet and fl earthy floral musky like very faint i would say maybe maybe 30 percent resemblance at best in my opinion if you smell strong with you you smell strong with you whatever I, like i said I've, it turns out that's the comparison on fragrantica I, I don't see much of it there and i've like i said i had people ask me in the comment section of the full review but man this one surprised me i paid 47 bucks on amazon um algorithm on Amazon got me. You know, I've been keeping my eye out for the Eau de Parfum. I was interested in that. Never really looked into the Le Parfum. The, the Parfum. I get it. Le is the. So I'm, when I say the Le Parfum, I'm saying the, the Parfum. I get the irony of it. <clears throat> but, you know, American idioms. I get it. So, with that said, it recommended it as a purchase. And I was like, hmm, never looked at that. Checked the notes. Saw it was Sweet Iris. I was like, wow, okay. I'll probably like it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Gave it a 9 out of 10 in my review. Make sure to check out that full review for a little bit more in-depth information than you're getting right here in the weekly rotation. But Dark Horse, underestimated, underrated, and underutilized when it comes to spotlight in this community. If you like Sweet Iris, this is one of the better ones I've tried in a long time. And this Yup Homme Le Parfum. And then when I got out the shower, I wanted to switch it up to something fresh. And I'm sorry, this is just one of the best-smelling freshies. You can call it bias, you can call it whatever. It's just gorgeous. It was a Haroff Signature Citrine. I had used the soap bar in my shower that evening, and anytime I use one of the soap bars, I usually roll with the fragrance after. Beautiful, cl limey, clementine, sweet orange, and incense. I get a lot of incense from this one. Beautiful, fresh fragrance. Magnificent sillage for, you know, the hours that it is on my skin. This stuff is so good. Won't be around in the U.S. for long. When stock runs out, it will be a European exclusive uh, once Zaharoff is fully completes their expansion into Europe, Italy, France, U.K., that area. It will be exclusive to that side of the pond. So anybody here in the States that if you wanted this, maybe you're low on your bottle and you want to get another one, I, like I said, I'll have links to everything below. Grab it while they got it. No, this is not a marketing ploy. This is no longer going to be available in the United States. It's going to be uh, more exclusive to where it's more appreciated. I'm calling a spade a spade here. It'll be more appreciated over in the Italian citrus market uh, because this is the right freshie for the house that got great praise from a lot of people and got complaints about performance from others. So maybe this just isn't the best market for it. So I understand why it's going to be moving overseas exclusively so for those of you that do enjoy this one and you want to get another bottle you might want to do that sooner than later out the shower zaharoff signature citrine moving into monday Ooh, this was a good day this was a good day one of my wife's favorites actually two of my wife's favorites and i really enjoy both of them as well armani code eau de parfum big big fan of this one never really thought i would like it as much as i do to where it became my favorite version of code even over 
the Parfum, believe it or not, which I have right here. I'm going to code Parfum, and I will get a bottle of it eventually. Don't get me wrong. Profumo used to be my favorite. Um, it's now second place with the Parfum being third, but oh, this is so good. It's a little fresh and spicy. It's got a woodsy tone to it, but of course, it's that Tonka Bean Absolute Signature. Powdery and sweet. Delectable, delightful, very aromatic. There's some lavender here at the top. Adds a little bit of a soapy aromatic tone in the opening. Just really good stuff. Really good, clean and sweet. Normally those things don't go hand in hand, but in this fragrance it does. Clean and sweet. Wife's huge fan. This is one of my wife's five favorite fragrances that I own. She absolutely adores this one. That's why I keep going back to it. I really like it too, obviously, but my wife loves this stuff. During the day, Armani Code Eau de Parfum. And we got the shower. I went a little bit sweet gourmand in many ways. Praline, this sour, dark cherry type of smell. People relate it to Baccarat Rouge 540, and I get a faint resemblance to it, but I wouldn't call it, you know, a dupe of it or anything like that. This is Dark Cherry and Amber from Banana Republic. Big fan of this one. Highly underrated. I believe my man Claude perfumed this one too, Claude Deer. My memory serves me correctly beautiful i like cherry fragrances and this isn't that feminine believe it or not it's more of a dark and sour cherry than an overly fresh fruity juicy type of smell it's really good <sighs> really really good <laughs> really good if you like cherry fragrances i mean you can find this for 22.99 at burlington's when they pop up and i'm sure it's similar at other rack stores where they do show up most pr most notably i see them at burlington's this is one of my five favorite in my top five, anyways, from Banana Republic. This is really good stuff, underutilized. And like I said, fellas, don't believe everything you read or hear online. It's not that feminine. If you like sweet fragrances, you probably have sweeter stuff than this in your collection from other designers. Out the shower, was loving every minute of it. Banana Republic, Dark Cherry and Amber. Moving into Tuesday, I actually gave myself a break in the evening uh, and didn't wear anything out the shower. But during the day, pungent, powerful, Showstopper, statement maker. The new, extremely popular Zaharoff signature leather tobacco. Like I said, showstopping statement maker. The birch tar. <laughs> it gives this dark, smoky edge to this scent. The plum's almost piercing and medicinal in many ways, but it's not super juicy fruit like you may think when you hear plum. Very spicy, a lot of kind of edgy leather at first, then it settles into more of a smooth suede as it dries down. The earthiness from the tobacco comes in. It's warm and ambery. The sweetness that's here kind of just rounds off the edges of this fragrance to help, help it be more smooth overall, smoother overall, because there's some honey in the dry down, which you don't get a thick, sweet honey smell, just faint, nice little light undertone of sweetness that you really have to look for. It's not just going to jump out at you. At least it doesn't for me. Whew, man. And there's a nice warm wood oud smell. Now, in the shave set, on the aftershave splash, I get a lot of dry oud from it. Whereas the woodsy tone in here is the oud. It's more of a dry type of wood, more so than any type of oud funk. This is a statement maker. This is super crazy strong. So be mindful of that when you try it. Um, samples are coming. I don't know if at the recording of this they're on the website yet, but there are samples coming. But those of you that have it already, you know where I'm coming from. This stuff is strong during the day. It's a Haroff signature leather tobacco. Moving into Wednesday, this is actually kind of underrated. Um, the props, I guess you could say, and the slight spotlight that the fragrance line does get kind of goes to the Eau de Parfum. But when it comes to Ralph's Club, I prefer the Parfum. Yes, it's not as loud, not as fresh. It's warmer, spicier, even a little smoky on my skin. Very warm wood. Beautiful scent profile. Not as loud, lasts a long time. This is the better smelling of the two. And as you guys know, scent is A number one to me. I don't have to have a super loud fragrance when it comes to these designer parfum flankers. I kind of like that they last a long time on my skin. They're smooth and refined, and they're not really loud. Now, first hour... Really strong off of my skin. Just ask my wife. Really, really strong in the first hour. Really strong. Fills the car, fills the room, and so on. 
but it calms down greatly after about an hour to an hour and a half. And then what's left is this beautiful scent bubble that's not overwhelming in any way, shape, or form. It actually is very soothing, very spa-like and sensual in many ways. It's a therapeutic experience if you like more cardamom, spiced, woodsy type of aromas and scent profiles. This will provide all of that. I really like this. It's a very attractive scent. That's why I say this. Look, I like the original. Don't get me wrong. It's a great fragrance. Great everyday wear, but just something about this one steps the game up for me during the day. Ralph's Club Parfum. And then when I got up the shower, I went something fresh. And this has become one of my favorite little cheap freshies. Cristiano Ronaldo CR7. Play it cool. I like to rock this one to the gym. I like to rock it out the shower. It's basically like a more shower gel take on Paco Rabanne's Invictus. May Paco Rabanne rest in peace. But I mean like not Invictus Aqua, like actual original sweet aquatic Invictus. That's what the biggest correlation I get from this scent profile. It's actually quite nice. Sub $25 price point. It's not super weak, not super strong either. Uh, four, maybe five hours. Average projection. Like I said, nothing super special in performance. But it doesn't smell super cheap and synthetic. I have other fragrances, fresh fragrances, similar style in this price point that smell much cheaper and more chemically synthetic than this does. This is actually solid. I need to explore more of Cristiano Ronaldo's fragrances because this is my first one ever from him, and I'm digging it. Out the shower, CR7, play it cool. Moving into Thursday, possibly one of the best grapefruit citrus openings I've ever smelled. No, not possibly. It is. It's very zesty from the spices, very warm wood, ambery, a little musky. We're talking about Afnan's Tarathi Blue. Just did a full review on this one. This opening, and it that grapefruit stays for a long time. Oh, man, this stuff is good. So juicy. A little tart, but very, very juicy and mouth-watering. Oh, I still smell it floating in the air. Oh, this is some good stuff. They really did a good job. Supposedly similar to Bulgari's Tiger, 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 however you say it. Never tried it. We'll get my nose on it eventually, but individualistic judgment on this one is phenomenal very impressed very impressed i could see why there's a lot of hype behind this one i can see why people enjoy it i can see why so many of you recommended that i get my nose on it because it is all that in a bag of chips it's definitely some good stuff um not as relatable to blue de chanel as some people say in my opinion but i can also see where they're coming from at the same time but this is actually some really good stuff. During the day, Afnan's Tarathi Blue. Then we got the shower. It was time for a shave. I actually did a live shave. You can watch the replay here on the channel. With the new Zaharoff Signature Leather Tobacco Shave Set. The splash is 7% of the leather tobacco oil, and it is really strong. Like I said, I get a lot of oud. A lot of the oud and spice here. With some earthy tobacco, more oud and tobacco. Comes out in the splash more than strong enough i did not spray the fragrance i get leather and spices from the shave soap but i get oud tobacco and a little bit of spice here obviously a little touch of some leather but it's not as overwhelmingly leather as say the fragrance or the soap here like i said oud tobacco a little bit of spice a little touch of leather but the oud really comes out here this is good stuff um, again, I'll have links to everything below if you want to check out the shave set. It's quite the experience. It really is. I've never had a leather-dominant, heavy shaving experience like this. This is the heaviest shave set I have. You want to talk about make your bathroom smell great? <sighs> Man, <laughs> worth trying. You can get samples from Gentleman's Nod, the little samples of the soap and stuff like that. I don't know about the splash, but the soap, they, they do the little samples. You might want to look into that. Out the shower, had a live shave with Zaharoff Signature Leather Tobacco. Moving into Friday, just finally, after all these years, I finally did a full review on it. Like, I, I talk about how great it is, and it's been featured many times over the years, but I had never did a full review, so I finally got around to making a dedicated review on Bleu de Chanel Parfum, which I deem to be a blue fragrance masterpiece, the king of the blue fragrances. Just my opinion. Beautiful, zesty lemon at the top, warm woods, warm but soft woods, 
Beautifully intoxicating, light spicy tone in the background. Just so good. We're gonna spray it one time. Just a little, little spritz. So good. Hyper versatile, smooth, rich, refined, and elegant. Long lasting, not overwhelming. Man, I so good. If you haven't tried this one yet, get out to a department store that carries fragrances. Macy's, Sephora. Alta, Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, all those places. They'll have Chanel. They'll have a tester of this. Spray it on your skin. Spend a little time with it. Some people like the Eau de Parfum more. Some people like the Eau de Toilette more. I like the Parfum the most. This is the only bottle I own of Blue de Chanel. Because I feel I feel like anytime I want that scent profile, I might as well de get wear what I deem to be the king of the mountain for that scent profile. That's how I feel about this. During the day, Blue de Chanel Parfum. And then when I got out the shower, I went with some fresh leather. Best cheap fragrance I've found in a long time. Ben Sherman Signature. Kind of a take on ombre leather, but $10. $10 for this. It's so good. It's so, so good. It has this ozonic feel, that violet leaf type of smell. Vibrant, bright leather. A little fruity sweet at the top, but not heavily. I wouldn't call it a raspberry note or anything. The, the notes I've seen in the past on this one, there's no raspberry. Uh, with a nice woody presence. Decent performer, too. Definitely does not smell like a $10 fragrance. This is a great find. If you see this one at the rack store, it's 10 bucks. Roll the dice. Just pick it up. If you like leather, you'll probably like this. It's really, really hard to beat for the money. Out the shower. Ben Sherman, Signature. Finally, on Saturday, what I'm wearing currently, because I haven't taken my shower just yet, um, I'm still not 100% certain on how to say it. I've had people correct me left and right. Anubis. I say Anubis sometimes. Anubis. Uh, whatever. Sphinx Fragrances. Black Anubis. Black Anubis. Black Anubis. However you want to say it. This gorgeous fragrance. My favorite from Sphinx Fragrances. This beautiful grapefruit aromatic tone at the top dry wood leather combo as it settles very wearable very uplifting upbeat type of daily wear fragrance super beginner oud you know nothing challenging very uplifting and enjoyable while still being pretty damn unique the grapefruit lasts a long time here too performance is fantastic like i said this is my favorite from sphinx fragrances it's always a joy when i spray this one i got five sprays around my neck currently this is such a unique fresh fragrance because it's more of a fresh fragrance than you would you would think. Like I could see even getting away with this in the summertime, in certain situations where it's not too hot, too humid, maybe in the evening stuff like that, or if you're gonna be indoors all day, you could get away with this because that grapefruit and lavender combo at the top is fantastic with the leather and the oud that's going on here. A little bit of spice. Oh yeah, it's really good stuff during the day. Sphinx Fragrances, Black Anubis, Anubis, however you say it. And then I think I'm going to just roll with the punches and go two nights in a row and use Ben Sherman's signature again tonight when I get out the shower. Why the hell not? It was great last night. It'll be great again tonight. So after I record this, I'm going to go take my shower and I'll be wearing Ben Sherman signature. Well, that was this week's rotation, and until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Would you guys wear this week? I love reading those comments. Please sound off below. Would you guys wear this past week? And uh, interesting mix-up of fragrances. Some fresh, some heavy, some crazy statement makers, some more subtle and subdued to yourself sense. Quite the variety, especially in performance and scent profiles. A lot of variety here. Until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances that I wore this past week, you can give them a spray now. Pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.